The Lake of the Ozark series is presented by Point View Resort. Crappie Monster. Use promo code Flopping Crappie to receive 20% off. Mad Fishing. The Button. The Dual Digital Fish Counter. And by ACC Crappie Sticks. Look who it is! Lake of the Ozarks, Kyler Beckman, crappie fishing. Morning number one, we're gonna jack them up today. I got a good feeling. It's cold, it's like 29, 30 degrees out. I left Wisconsin for cold weather, That's that was the game plan. <laughs> so, I think I brought it. You did? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but uh, we're just gonna idle over to this cove. I'm gonna show you his brand new boat. Brand, well, brand new to you. New to me. New to you, new to really nice Triton, 21 foot. What was the other one, 17 and a half? 18? No, it was 17 either. That was a 17 foot, yeah. okay. So, we added five more feet. We got a lot more room to do stuff, activities. That's right. We got more room for activities. Absolutely. So we're gonna idle over here. We're gonna show you on the side imaging sonar. Side, side imaging sonar. Wow, look at all that. Oh yeah. Look at all that. See those fish are suspended. Those are big fish too. Big fish. Big, big fish. So big, big thing this morning is just gonna be finding these pre-spawn crappie. It's mid-February right now. Honestly, probably the best time to crappie fish. Love it. I mean, like one of the best, big, big crappie. Yep. They're gonna be sitting out into the middle part of these feeder creeks. That's where we're going in right now. So we're gonna get set up and uh, bring some action. Well, we punched through a sheet of ice. Thankfully, there's another boat out there that punched through it for us, but. We just had to follow the path. Yeah. There's fish suspended all throughout this, this hole that there's two free feeder creeks come through. I mean, yeah. I guess that's what it is. Yeah, there's two creeks. This here's the main creek right back here. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get this spider rig set up and get to fishing. Look at this. Oh, just gotta get him to bite. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking at. Got him that time. A white bass. <laughs> Jumbo. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, he's gonna get in this rod, isn't he? Here, can you set this one down back yeah. there? <laughs> I'd like to land that sucker. I know. I'm trying to get him back over this way. Is he in that line? Yeah, yeah he is. Oh, well, only hold up. Bring it in. Oh, wait, we might get her. I'm trying to bring it in my way here so I can. Okay, bring. You can probably just reel that up a little bit. Reel it up some? Yeah, it's just looped around the last little thing here. Yeah, he's still on there. I don't want him messing up your lines, though. Did you? So. Is it the swivel? Did it just come off the swivel? Yeah, swivel. Alright. Well, the problem with this now is I got that stupid thing in my line. <laughs> it's a big fish. A big Holy big smokes. Alright, here it comes. Big, oh my goodness. <laughs> Big hybrid. You got him? Yep. Wow. Can I, can I lip him? Yeah. <laughs> you ever caught a hybrid that big? No. I wasn't sure how big the teeth were. <laughs> Sometimes you catch some monster fish. Look at that. <laughs> Giant hybrid. <laughs> My goodness. Absolutely. This is the biggest one I've ever caught. Hands down. We'll have to weigh it. Seven, seven twenty nine. Seven twenty seven. It's 
740. 740. 740. Big hybrid. Absolute monster. Uh, Crazy. All right, let's get him let go. See you, buddy. What if we go? What is that? Is that big grubby? Is this that? Oh, there you go. Big. I'm gonna say if that's if that's a crappie, it that is big. Three pounder. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> cat. It's an ugly looking cat. That is an ugly looking catfish. Uh, he might be close. You get him? Oh, got that. Oh, hey, we got a crappie. Oh, it's a crappie. We got a crappie. It's All right. It's a crappie. About time. Shallower. Ooh. Fat little bugger, too. Fat little bugger. I think we find the right size in a little bit. Think how big they're gonna be. Well, I mean, I just about didn't even get him caught. Show the camera. Crop number one. That's a probably keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper. First keeper. First keeper. God, I caught it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You'd probably feel bad if I caught it. <laughs> See you, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, got that one. <laughs> oh, no, I got her. Don't worry about it. Here we go. Set that minnow down now. Finally got our crappie. Ooh. Cropping number one for me. Whatever they call it. Ain't there? Cropping number one. Get him. Good. This was some fat fish. Fat fish. These are some quality Lake of the Ozarks fish right now. <laughs> My goodness. Entry fees. Oh, that's a good one. Net? That's a good one. Yeah, get the net for that one. Oh, no, he's not as big as that. Oh, I got the net. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, at least big. <laughs> that's a that's a nice fish. But well, like the Ozarks, I mean that's a damn nice one. Uh, no, you're good. I'm just trying to adjust my camera a little bit. Pound. Possibly pound and a quarter. Kyler with the big fish of the day. Second crappie in the boat. About sinking time. What do we got here? 141. Damn. <laughs> That's a darn good lake of the Ozarks <laughs> fish right there. That's a big one. Kyler and I are trolling the deepest part of these feeder creeks for these suspended crappie. We're using a mixture of live minnows and jigs. The milk color seems to be working the best. There he is. Yeah. Little guy. Well, not so little guy. <laughs> That's a big guy. Didn't feel like much coming up. Throw him on the scale. Yeah, he's definitely a pounder. <laughs> what does that say? I can't see it from my angle. 121. 121, pound and a quarter. Hold on. Take them. Hold on, hold on. You locking it in? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Crappie, net. That's a nice crappie. Yeah, 
That one's going in the live well for pictures. The boat. <laughs> Oh, here. This side. You got fish on one. Yes, I do. <laughs> We're in them. We're in them. Oh, I lost a minnow. How's that guy? One, I can't see. 127. 127. Yep. And a quarter. Oh, 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 you want to lock her in? Yeah. You can go back, buddy. 1. Crappie in the morning and in the afternoon. They like the bottom one. That's a good one. Lake of the Ozarks isn't known for absolute giants, but if you can run into pound and a quarter to pound and a half fish, and there's a consistent school, you're about to have a really good day. Good. Goodens. Good. Let's see. I'll just uh, do it like this. Well, that's a good one. 147. 141. 141. Okay. Tied for the big one. During this time of the year, the water temps are in the upper 30s or low 40s on Lake of the Ozarks. As a result, the shad tend to be very lethargic and some of them actually die. Fish feeding up for the spawn, specifically crappie, tend to feed heavily on these shad, which is why for plastics, we're using a milk color to imitate that shad. Looks like shad. Yep. Mm, no. Fat. Fatty. Jeez. Just waking the rods up, that's all I'm doing. You're a graceful one, huh? Sure. <laughs> Gotta love me in a boat, right? <laughs> Man, that's a fat belly. After catching a few of these pound and a quarter to pound and a half size fish, Kyla and I realized this could be a really special day. A good day on a tournament might be 10 pounds. So our goal was to catch seven fish that measured over 10 pounds by the end of the day. Decent. Fatty on the belly, but I don't think he'll go the... No, I don't. He's fat. You think? I think he's gonna... I'm thinking... I'm thinking 105. I mean, it's still pretty awesome we're catching pound plus fish. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not complaining one bit. Ouch! Oh, hook in the hand. You ready for the weight? Hold on. It's in... 114. Really? Yep. It's 114. I don't think he's coming. Oh, look Good. Net. You want the net? Oh, uh, yeah, probably better. I don't think it's going to be the worst. Come here, buddy. It might be a seven fish, you know? That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. I'm trying not to take out my pet rod. What do we got there? We got 121. 121. Yeah, I think it's 128. Mm -hmm. that one, huh? <laughs> He might be 108. You think? Uh, He's going to be close. Maybe. 119. There we go. 116. 116. 116. Well, let's just bump every single rod, right? That's how you do this, right? This whole spider rig thing. You just try to hit every single rod when you set the hook. <laughs> Little guy.
on the front. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a better fish. That's a better fish. Oh yeah, it's six pound test. Cool. Don't be stupid. <laughs> you got them? Yeah. Drop them in the water. Put them in the water. They're everywhere right through here. Yeah, put them in the water and start catching them. What do we got? One thirty-eight. That's an upgrade. Oh, you're gonna have to help me out there. There we go. What do we got to beat? I don't know. 130? Oh, One, they're, they're in them. 116. 116 is what we got to beat? Yep. Maybe. Maybe. 112. What do we got? 120. Oh. 119. 119. We beat it. Oh, two, two, two. Big in. Not of crappie. Not of crappie. Quick sideways. You take it. Hold on. <laughs> Side hooked him. Is he dead? Looks alive. It's a fat fish. I think he's gonna beat it. I'm thinking 130. 141. Oh, one thir 141. We got three 141s in the live well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's really deceiving, to be honest with you. Do that. That's a fat belly. Holy smokes. See what she weighs. Oh, come on. You got the mu you might have there one. the right depth on that one. Oh yeah, we're in them now. That's another fatty. Yeah, we not big, but fat. Choked it too. One. What we got? One thirty-two. There we go. Well, there's your upgrade. God, look at that screen. Oh, man, man. Gosh I'm dang. Gonna it, I'm gonna let it drift down through and then turn around, and come back through and slow. Look at that screen, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely loaded. Loaded with fish. Decent, <laughs> pretty decent. <laughs> that is a good fish. That's our low. One thirty two. 132. I'm thinking 140 something. One forty seven. Hell yeah. Doesn't quite get us to no, that's ten, not, but helps. we're just shy of ten pounds and best seven. After catching that pound and a half crappie, the schools of larger fish seem to have disappeared. We would run into schools of white bass and schools of smaller crappie. And as the sun set over the ridge behind us, it seemed that 10 pound mark, that goal that we wanted the entire day, was going to elude us. And as most of us believe, 
one more cast, or five more minutes, that's all I need to catch the big one. Fortunately for us, that's all Kyler needed. Let's see if Kyler can get this one done. Stop moving, stop moving. Don't don't save it on something. Make sure you have it on the right one before you save it. Oh, how do I change it? Here. It's 147. Yeah, Dude, I think we just did it. <laughs> oh yeah, you're on the right one. 149. 149. Oh. We got 10 pounds, right? We got 10 pounds. We got over 10 pounds. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> over 10 pound fish right there. We did it. We got her done. Got her done. 10 pounds places you pretty 10 pounds 10.09 pounds that places you pretty high in a tournament I oh think. yeah beautiful fish god look at those fat bellies see you buddy go make more of you well that is gonna wrap it up for the day uh, we caught a ton of fish uh, double limit 15 and 15 so and we broke the 10 pound mark on Lake of the Ozarks which is Pretty good from what I've understood. 10 plus pounds fish is, 10 pounds plus of fish is always really good to catch on this lake. So I wanna show you real quick again. This is the color we caught it on this milk. This is called Monster Milk by Crappie Monster. Again, flop and crappie discount code 20% off. They are kind enough to offer my audience 20% off. So make sure if you wanna check these guys out, use that promo code. 20% off, but this milk color was money today. I'm gonna show you the live well real quick. Get all back in there. Look at all those fish. Huge thank you to Kyler. Follow this guy on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll link all three below. We caught him good today. Caught him really good today. Caught him really good today. Really good. Any thoughts for the camera? tips for people that want to do pre-spawn crappie fishing. Slow I mean, basically down. we, we slowed way down slowed today way down. and we just fished the channel. Yep. Pretty much. We fished the channel edge and slowed way down and just plucked them off. I mean, yeah. that's the key is slowing down a lot of the time. Most guys are fishing way too fast. Yep. Slow down and you'll definitely get the bigger bites if you slow down. Yeah. So there you have it. Key. Slow down, especially in cold water. Water temps are like 36 degrees today. And we we're just fishing this creek edge. We we're probably fishing anywhere between 10 to 12 feet of water, but no deeper than 12 feet. And that's where we we're finding these fish. Um, so yeah, side imaging is key. Notice that we didn't have live scope. A lot of videos have live scope. We didn't have a single ounce of live scope on this boat. Not yet anyway. Soon. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming real quick. But we caught them real good. Spider rigging, great pre-spawn tactic. So again, Kyler, thank you so much for this. Yep, anytime, man. Go follow him. And then go follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Appreciate you watching. Uh, we're actually going to go talk to a couple other guys out here, Thatcher and Buzz, see what they caught as well. Thatcher and Buzz won Lake Wachita, the ACT tournament this year. They're using live scope and 360 combination. The live scope pinpoints where they should put their spider rig set up, and the 360 shows them the school of fish. They're a lot heavier than yeah, I'm yeah. used to. Yeah, they're, they're a meat stick. Yeah. They're also being healthy. Oh, yeah, they are. That's it. Nice, thick, healthy fish. That did get me off. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Here, I can hold this one. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a good one. It takes four guys to run it.